Hello, Dalens! Today on Pinky's Gaming Thoughts, Elvenan. For the occasion, I have Mythal on my face. Elvenan was the Empire, and Arlathan its greatest city. Place of magic and beauty, lost to time. Dalish legends, as we have recently visited, tell of how only vague memories remain of the ancient world. When the elven gods walked the earth, and tended to their people, tended, and taught them what they knew when elves were immortal and served their gods. While the ancient elves built many cities, their greatest one, their heart of their land, was Arlathan. Founded in negative 7600 ancient, Arlathan means this place of love. It was located in a great forest in northern Thedas, Alathan Forest, bearing the same name. The ancient elves made first contact with dwarves in negative 4600 ancient. The elves and dwarves never warred. The elves ruled the land above, while the dwarves ruled the land underground. There are tales of how the dwarves fear the sun because of Elgarnan's Fire. The Shaper describes Thedas of that time as devoid of humans. No humans at all, just elves and dwarves. There are rare ancient works that depict cooperation between the elves and the dwarves. So basically, they lived in harmony together. When humans arrived, the elves called them quicklings, Shemlin. Because of their short lifespan, they found humans were brash and impatient. Uh, yeah, I'll admit to that. They caught their diseases, some from which many died. Elves who spent prolonged periods of time with humans aged. In fear, the elves closed Elvenon off from humans to preserve their civilization. Notice how dwarves never caused the elves to age? or to become ill? While we know that humans did not directly cause elves to become mortal, their arrival coincided with the hidden and lost legend of the creation of the Vale. It is, as we know now, the disconnection to the Fade that caused elves to lose their immortality. Elves thought it was because of the humans, and by closing their doors to humans, it resulted in a people who already wanted power, to hate the elves. To Vinter summoned their gods, demons, dragons, and breached the city of Arlathan. The elves were so scared of human mortality, they fled instead of fighting. Then the Magisters used blood magic to completely destroy Alathan as it was swallowed by the earth and it sunk into the blood-soaking earth from the blood that had been spilt. Then the Vints enslaved the elves and it was soon discovered that all elves had become mortal. I believe that if the legend is true that only some became mortal at first, that it was not humans per se, but since humans never lived connected with the Fade, elves who were with them lost their connection to the Fade faster. Perhaps the energy and magic around humans after the Veil was created did that. And or perhaps Arlathan and Elvenan still had lingering magic of the connection to the Fade and was the only remaining place in Thedas that was the most connected to the Fade. Then those who left Elvenon lost that connection to the Fade and became mortal. And those who stayed did not notice their loss of immortality for it was much slower. Given Fenharel had trapped the Evanuris in the Fade and the Forgotten Ones in the abyss, when the elves called out to their gods, they never came. They never came to help them. They never came to save them. They believe that Fenharel never truly cared for the people and he never came either. 
We know that he cared because he wanted to free them from the slavery from the Evanuris. And we know that the very reason he trapped the gods is because he cared for the people. And then the reason he never came to help them is because he was so exhausted and weak and he entered Uthenera. Uthenera, the ages long slumber, probably reflexively entered Uthenera, but he probably had no other choice. Otherwise he would like, Bloop! you know, he was just too exhausted and too weak. He could not do anything and he couldn't awaken to go help them when they called to their gods. I'm sure that he would have helped otherwise. I'm pretty sure because back then he was all about helping the people. The people need me. The people still need me. Even today, it's all for the people. So had he heard them, he would have gone to help them. Maybe he did hear them and he wasn't able to wake up because he was too weak. But he hasn't revealed any of that yet. The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people, they need me. That's part one of Elvenon. In the next part, we're gonna look at the foundation, the golden age, more of the history of Elvenon. Like this video if you like it, subscribe to be Rosie Approved, and I'll see you all soon. Maseranas. If you're new here and you like my content, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Like it if you like it, for the like it if you like it dance. You can also follow my website, binkyproductions.com, where I post everything from all my channels. Exclusive. If you want to support me, consider buying my book, Stardust Destiny's One, Variant Facing, Magic, Dragons, Fantasy, all relevant links below. Thank you so much for your time. Your continued viewership is very much appreciated. Maseranas.